What is going on guys, this is your boy Mixed Up Gaming, bringing out some Battlefield 4 gameplay, I'm not playing live currently, uh, this was my first match and I decided to just record it, but not talk while I'm playing the game, just, cause we, just because I didn't think I was going to do well, but I ended up doing very very well, so I decided to, you know, why not upload it, because um, I did very well and... I, I'm not sure what the final score was, but you guys will find out at the end of the video. Um, I actually don't remember. I'm just talking over it right now. But I do get an insane double kill with the handgun in around 9 minutes into the game or into the video, whatever it is. Uh, but yeah, I do get like a nice kill. It's very, very insane for me just because I'm not a Battlefield um, gamer or player. Um, but it might not be to you guys, but it is to me. But if you guys want to go ahead and check it out, just you know, skip through the video and then skip back or whatever it is you want to just keep watching it from here and just wait for yourself to get there. But yeah, it is around the nine minutes area. If you guys want to go ahead and see it, just go for it. But, um, anyways, guys, what I want to talk about in this video is basically a uh, review of Battlefield 4. So it's just going to be like, you know, a little quick review. And then besides that, I'll just talk about other things. But, um, yeah, the gameplay of this game is like, I'd give it a 10 out of 10. This game is just very, very insane um i'm not you know one of those guys that is like a cod a lover and a battlefield for a hater um i'm actually giving this game a 10 out of 10 um even though most of the people that play battlefield are call of duty haters for some apparent reason i actually really really enjoy playing this game and i don't see anything wrong with it it's actually very well but at certain uh, occasions you end up spawning um, and like you have no gun like for at least a cool 10 seconds which really bothers me but that's not a problem just because you know there could be patches there could be updates on this game so that could just be fixed you know so I don't have to worry about that and I'm um, like you know this game is just very very good like it's very fast paced depending on the gun you're using um, you're gonna be wanting to use like an AR or SMG to be getting to those like, you know aggressive gunfights you want to be using a shotgun like you could see me pulling out in part of this video that gun is very very accurate you want to be within like a close range of like five to six feet um, with your enemy and shooting them above the chest up as uh, to get that one shot kill if not you want to be closer to them that way you for sure get that one shot kill so the saw rifle I'm using here I'm using red dot laser sign I don't know something else um, I'm not sure you guys will probably see a class setup as like I as I die and then like I have to spawn you guys will probably see it there so, unless you guys want to go ahead and jot it down or pause the video wherever the class showed up or something like that so you guys can use it for yourselves but this class setup is very very good and yeah so let's go back on topic here uh, the gameplay of this video the game the gameplay of the game um, is very very good like I said I give it 10 out of 10 I don't know why there's look those haters of uh, like if they're a battlefield 4 gamer they hate on call of duty i don't get that reason but yeah i really enjoyed playing this game in the beginning i was like oh, i don't think i'm gonna like this game as soon as call of duty goes comes out i'm not gonna be playing this game but if you guys want to see gameplay of this game and while call of duty ghost is out just let me know in the comment section down below you know what i'll throw in a video like once a week of battlefield and like they're all like six days a week i'll be uploading call of duty ghost because once call of duty ghost comes out i'm going to be uh F load of gameplay videos gonna be doing a variety of videos for that so really excited to, for the release of Call of Duty Ghosts but um, this is a Battlefield 4 gameplay video so I'm not gonna be talking about Call of Duty Ghosts I'm gonna be talking about Battlefield 4 so basically the graphics of this game I'd give it around a uh, 7 6 out of 10 to, on the PlayStation 3 the PlayStation 4 the graphics look beautiful they look realistic they look so much better but of this game in particular this particular uh, whatever it is the word I think it's particular um, console the PlayStation 3 I would and on HDMI I would give it a 7 or yeah 7 out of 10 just because the graphics look a little not crisp um, they look a little off but it makes sense because there are there is next gen consoles and you know um, they're not going to make the graphics very very good on like a current gen console and have them the same on the next gen consoles because that just make no sense like why would you like upgrade to the next gen console to have the same exact game same exact quality same exact you know speed whatever it is like you don't want to be having the same thing for two exact um, different consoles because you're not going to be making money off that so basically what the companies do they just basically make the graphics a little bit slackier on like the current gen consoles for next gen consoles they do a lot more better so that's why 
I'm really looking forward to the next gen consoles on the PlayStation 4 having this game on 1080p, you know, uploading this game like um, gameplay. I'm going to be uploading all gameplay once the next gen consoles comes out on HDMI. I'll be uploading them in 720p, but um, they should still look very, very well. So that's what I'm looking forward to. And the graphics overall, guys, I'd give it at least a 7 out of 10. But on component, I'd give it a 6 out of 10 just because I have to play on component. Uh, PlayStation 3 has HDCP, if you guys aren't aware of that, just a, um, high definition copyright protection, and you can't record in HDMI. So Xbox can, but now in the next gen consoles, that's all fixed. You could finally record gameplay in high definition. So I'm really looking forward to the next gen consoles, guys. Um, I'm not sure how to pick up the, the next gen consoles because they are sold out, and I never ended up pre ordering it, but that, that was my fault. And um, now they're sold out, so I'm probably gonna have to wait like a few more days after the release of the next gen consoles because they are going to be sold out and i'm not sure when they're going to be um getting more consoles so i'm going to probably have to wait but i'm still in a situation where which system to get i'm pretty sure i'm going to be getting the playstation 4 first and then later on getting the xbox one to go pro so that's what i'm going to be doing and um yeah so i'm going to be getting a playstation 4 doing playstation vita tutorials um you are going to be able to play PlayStation playstation 4 games on the playstation vita which i'm super super excited to have my hands on like my playstation vita playing battlefield 4 in high definition playing it on the go i'm really excited to do that and i can't wait for the release of the playstation 4 so that's that and what else should we talk about so we already talked about the gameplay or the graphics of this game um Let's see the weapons. Let's talk about the weapons. Okay, so there are a variety of weapons. I could edit this video to make it, you know, like show all the weapons and stuff like that. But I don't think you guys would like to see that. And I'm not sure how exactly to do that at some certain occasions. But the weapons, guys, in this game, so far I've unlocked a few. So I can't really, you know, get much into further detail of them. Um, the, the, so far the weapons I've unlocked, like first three weapons of each section, say, um, I think this is support or recon i'm not sure which class i'm using here but i'm using the first one and i've unlocked um three weapons so far and three assault rifles i've unlocked they're very very good very accurate the scar h is overpowered it takes like two three shots to kill someone with it but other than that um this class i'm using right now it takes like at least four bullets to use but it's very more accurate than the scar h and it has a lot more um, bullets in its mag so you want to be you basically want to be getting that's kind of your decision on what weapon you want to be using it's either you want to be using a weapon with a longer magazine size and more bullets to kill or a gun with um lower um magazine size and a faster um rate of kill or faster killing with it so you basically that's all up to you but the pistols in this game are a little bit too like weak they're really really weak you don't really want to be using running around with a pistol because you are going to be dying they are going to be turning on you there was this one time when i was just walk, um, walking around with my pistol and i ended up getting turned on like the guy wasn't even looking at me he just turns around and kills me like it's it takes so many bullets to kill him with the pistol basically and you don't want to be using the pistol and walking around with it so um let's see what else is there to talk about the shotguns in this game like i said earlier in this video shotguns are very very powerful and in certain occasions you're gonna be getting hit markers so you don't want to be upset when you get a hit marker because basically you want to be close to the enemy and you want to be you know shooting like to his chest or above like you basically want to be shooting to his head and i know i say basically a lot just because it makes sense to every certain statement i say um i'm not going to be trying to say it i'm not going to be try saying i'm not going to be saying it anymore in this video hopefully and uh yeah so um the vehicles in this game i'm not going to say they're they're bad because the only thing I've ridden or rode before was just like a little, um, oh, fuck, I don't even know what it's called. It's just like a little, uh, I don't even know what it's called, but I haven't ridden any of the tanks. I haven't ridden any of the helicopters. Um, basically, oh my God. Okay. I'm just going to be saying basically. All right. So I've been just, I just rode like one, um, little vehicle before. It was just like this little motor. I don't even know what it's called. There's a little gun kill i don't know I, that's insane how i just got those two kills guys i had like a weak weak health and i ended up going like a little bit better after this um i just they go all out but um yeah the vehicles in this game they should be good uh the snipers in this game are like a little 
like oh it's so difficult to snipe in this game like I, at the beginning of this game i would snipe and like i'd get a whole bunch of kills i got those insane quick scopes i would quick scope actually and yeah that's the sniping was really now it's like i see it like ever since i started using assault rifles like it's so hard to snipe it's not that easy as it used to be but um yeah, sniping is very accurate. You will be getting a bunch of hit markers even if you shoot above the chest sometimes. So you want to be aware of that. You want to be shooting at least to the head if you possibly can. You don't want to be shooting uh, below the chest at any certain occasion because you are going to be getting hit marker. And there's the most likely chance you won't end up getting that kill because the enemy will be running away. So that's that. We talked about the weapons. We talked about the gameplay. We talked about the graphics. Um, I'm not sure what else there is to talk about. Um, but on my next Battlefield 4 gameplay, I will be talking about more stuff. Basically, you know, other other stuff besides Battlefield 4, just talking over the gameplay. And that's basically it, guys. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like rating. Really appreciate all the feedback and support. Subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe for more Battlefield 4 gameplay. Um, next time I'll be doing gameplays probably in the PlayStation 4. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace.